When the San Fernando Valley started to become more urbanized, activists realized there needed to be a haven for wild animals. In tonight's look at this, KCAL 9's Desmond Shaw takes us to the Sepulveda Basin Wildlife Refuge. Well, take a look at this open space right off the 405 freeway. This is the Sepulveda Basin Wildlife Refuge, a 225-acre area of protected land that is leased by the City of Los Angeles from the Army Corps of Engineers. So according to the San Fernando Valley Audubon Society, the idea for a wildlife refuge goes back to the 1960s when the valley began to rapidly urbanize away from open space and agriculture and towards strip malls and housing developments. Some forward-thinking activists wanted to be sure that some land would survive for wildlife and to also, also show future generations what the San Fernando Valley may have looked like before humans ever occupied the area. So this area right here south of Burbank Boulevard, this is what came first between the Sepulveda Dam and the Los Angeles River. And then in the early 1990s, the area to the north of Burbank Boulevard is what was added. And that was when the land was graded and uh, they also dug out a bunch of earth to build this lake. So it opened the same year as Lake Balboa and has the same water source, reclaimed water from the Tillman Water Reclamation Plant. So you see this little island right here. This is where birds love to congregate. More than 200 species of birds can be spotted here throughout the year, migratory birds as well as birds native to Southern California. This being a wildlife refuge, though, there are some very strict rules. For one, no dogs allowed. There's no biking allowed, no drones are allowed to be flown here, no fishing, no hunting, and especially do not feed the wildlife. They don't want to disrupt the natural dietary habits of the wildlife that occupy this area. So it's open during daylight hours and parking is plentiful along Woodley Avenue as well as nearby Woodley Park and a fantastic place to get outdoors and see what the San Fernando Valley may have looked like hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Taking a look at this from Sky 9, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.